Okay, so uh, system design time. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover a important concept called consistent hashing, which is us pretty often in the middle of a system design interview. So let's see some background. So suppose we have uh, a distributed cache and uh, we have four of the cache servers. So we have eight keys here to be distributed uh, among the four cache servers and uh, we want to distribute it, the keys as evenly as possible. So it is uh, very straightforward to use just module by four to distribute the eight keys. So let's say uh, key three is distributed to uh, server three, so on and so forth. So, so far everything works well, um, but um, you know that servers can go down. Suppose uh, one server goes down at this moment. We only have three servers, um, three of the cache servers live, and uh, we use modular three to redistribute the keys. Then this can cause some issues because uh, we can see that um, a large amount of the keys are redistributed if we change the hash function here. So this is where consistent hashing comes in. So we know that uh, for the hash uh, function, we have the hash space. If we connect the start and the end of the hash space into a circle, then we have a whole circle of the hash space. So we will put the four of the servers uh, into four different parts of the hash space. And uh, for keys that fall within a certain point within the hash space, we just go uh, clockwise to see to try to find the first server it is going to hit. So for example, key zero falls here, it is going to go clockwise, and uh, the first server it is going to hit is server zero. Then key zero is going to be assigned to uh, server zero, so on and so forth. So if one of the server goes down, let's say uh, server two goes down here, it is only going to cause key here key two to be redistributed in uh, this situation so consistent hashing can solve the problem about large amount of the keys to be redistributed when the hash table space changes um so let's see another situation uh, suppose we add a new server let's say it is server four we put the server four here so based on the definition of consistent hashing it is only going to cause uh, the keys falling falls within this space to be redistributed to uh, the new server, server four. So uh, adding a server or deleting a server, it is going to uh, just change, uh, just cause a small fraction of the keys to be redistributed. So this is tr what how the traditional uh, consistent hashing works. Um, but there are some fallbacks, some drawbacks uh, for some drawbacks within the traditional way for consistent hashing. So because the keys may not distribute uniformly among the hash space, this is the first one. And also if we just, um, let's say, delete the servers or add new servers, this can also ca cause the uneven distribution of the keys among the different servers. So uh, a way to improve this is uh, to introduce some virtual nodes. So we introduce a bunch of the nodes among the whole hash space and uh, we distribute a portion, of, a fraction of the nodes to different servers. So let's say we have four of the node, five of the nodes, like say one, two, three, four, five, uh, to be distributed to server zero, so on and so forth. So if we have uh, many of the nodes, uh, virtual nodes within the whole hash space, then it is, um, so conceptually, it is going to cause uh, the keys to be distributed evenly among different servers. So that's mostly about uh, the consistent hashing. So if this question is asked, it's mostly about testing how much you know about consistent hashing. Um, you can say consistent hashing is a way designed uh, to cause the keys to be uh, 
to cause only a small fraction of the keys to be redistributed when a hash table uh, space is changed. So that could be a pretty uh, standard answer to answer consistent hashing um, in a time efficient way. But if the interviewer wants to go deeper, you can use some solid example like the example I gave you to explain what it is. So uh, that's it about uh, this video. I hope you find this uh, a little bit helpful. Uh, if you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.